Hello everyone, Pennsylvania bar president resigns after he's charged with patronizing a prostitute. Thank you for tuning in to Joe the Lawyer. I'm Joe Palmetto, your host, a practicing attorney in Western Pennsylvania in the Pittsburgh area. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, consider signing up for my email list. When you sign up for the email list, you will get a free PDF on what to do when stopped by the police. Okay, so this is an interesting article. It caught my eye. It's sort of a funny story, tragic at the same time. We're going to run through it, and then I'm going to offer my three thoughts as a practicing criminal defense attorney. Pennsylvania Bar Association President David Eric Schwager resigned Tuesday, this was last week, the same day that he was charged with patronizing a prostitute who allegedly tried to extort him. Schwager, 58, had a sexual encounter with a woman in December 2019, that's a couple years ago, after hiring her through an escort website, criminal complaints allege. Emily Ann Murth, 25, has been charged with promoting prostitution, theft by extortion, and sexual extortion. Look, I've been doing criminal defense for a little while now. I've seen a lot of cases. I've helped people on prostitution charges, both the person soliciting and the, the, the per person patron... patron patronizing a prostitute and the prostitute themselves. I've never seen sexual extortion before. Um, not the, It probably happens more and more these days with technology. You'll see why. The legal intelligencer, Law 360, and the Times leader have details of the criminal complaints. Schwager told police that Mirth had secretly recorded the encounter as at a residence in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. And when he noticed that it was happening, he told her to stop. That's smart. When Mirth said she would record audio only, <laughs> okay, that's a compromise, I guess. Schwager got dressed and left, according to details in criminal complaints cited by the news articles. <clears throat> Whoa, this is interesting. Mirth allegedly threatened to post a nude video of Schwager if he didn't pay her $1,000. The woman lowered her demand to $700, and Schwager contacted the police. The criminal complaints allege he called the police on himself. Mirth was arrested when Schwager returned to the home ostensibly to pay her the money, and she went outside to meet him. He set her up. She allegedly told police that she videotaped sexual encounters to sell and make more money. Schwager is a Luzerne County assistant solicitor, which means he's an attorney who represents the county, represents the government. He has been placed on administrative leave without pay, according to the Times leader. He was also co-chair of Pennsylvania's Attorney Disciplinary Board in 2017, according to the legal intelligencer. Think about that, okay? He's in charge of attorney discipline, and he's breaking the rules of attorney professional conduct here. The Bar Association's executive director, Barry M. Simpson, released this statement to the publications covering Schwager's resignation. While the charge is troubling, every person accused of a crime is considered innocent until proven guilty, and we have confidence in the operation of our system. All right, I've got a lot to say about this, but before we dig in and get into my commentary, raise your cup, your glass in the air, do a sip with me. It tastes better, and the video's more fun if when we sip together. Cheers. Okay, delicious. All right. So a couple of things. Third, first of all, soliciting a prostitute is a misdemeanor charge, but it's generally handled um, at the lower level of the courts. What do I mean by that? Well, if the individual charged comes to court, agrees to take classes, we call them John classes, right? That's the the classic name for a person soliciting a prostitute, if they complete the John classes, generally the misdemeanor is lowered to a summary offense like a disorderly conduct. They pay two, three hundred dollar fine plus court costs and go on their way. So it's a lower level type of charge, even if you get the misdemeanor, and generally handled in a way that's not going to create a significant criminal record for the person and will hopefully reform them. Now, if they do it over and over again, then the penalties get worse. And the same is, is true for the prostitute. If a, if a prostitute is offering sexual services, they can take a class, 
they can they'll get the charge lowered in the meantime if it happens more and more though there might be some more serious consequences than just paying a fine if a one time two time thing generally the courts don't look at it as that big a deal the woman here, so this attorney here may be offered a deal like that. The woman here, though, is facing this uh, sexual extortion uh, charge, which is probably much more serious. So I doubt she's going to be able to just flip this case and get rid of it, pay a fine, do some classes. There's probably going to be more serious consequences. Not necessarily jail, but possibly a long term of probation in heavy court supervision. Now, I read another article on this case, which said that she had Googled this individual's name, and that's when she decided to um, charge the higher fee, the $1,000, and actually extort him. I may misconstrue that a little bit, but go ahead, check out some of these other articles. You can get a little bit more information. Um, the funny thing here is he called the police on himself and, you know, maybe kudos to him. In, 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 in the grand scheme of things, he likely did um, the right thing here, which is something you would expect from somebody who um, it, it used to be part of the disciplinary board and is now the president of the Pennsylvania Bar Association and a solicitor for the government. Those are all, you know, duty type positions where you're representing a, a group of people. And um, so, you know, he resigned. He did the right thing here, most likely. Now, again, like I said, he called the police on himself. Did he do it just to sort of save his own skin? Okay, and his thinking could have been along the lines of this: If I, um, if you know, the consequences were, were as follows: If he goes through with what the prostitute asked him to do, all right, um, you know, number one, you can't trust her, so he likely was not going to do that. And then what would happen is a nude video of him would be released. A nude video would be put on the internet, and then he may end up with criminal charges plus a nude video out on the internet. So he probably thought this was the lesser of two evils, right? If he calls the police, he might be able to stop her from posting the nude video, which is likely what happened because he set her up, the police arrested her, they may make her delete those photos, now she's under court supervision. So um, it was still likely a self-interested move, but after she extorted him, he was left with two bad choices. He took the lesser of two evils. Hopefully, and I'm a criminal defense attorney, hopefully he negotiated a better deal for himself uh, whenever he set this this woman up because, you know, he helped them, the, the, the police take out two two supposed criminals. Um, and so hopefully he's, he's going to get a nice deal on the back end. However, considering his positions, um, this is likely taking a big hit on his life, perhaps affecting his personal life as well. Um, you know, in, in the, again, the grand scheme of things, prostitution to me, I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, you know, as far as certain crimes, you know, if he was stealing money from the government or doing something much, much worse than this, I would be far more concerned. Um, you know, hopefully he learns his lesson and he can return to some of his positions and go on and have a very distinguished legal career. Um, I hope that something like this doesn't really it doesn't, doesn't derail him when he's probably, you know, a pretty good lawyer. Um, so this, this, you know, there's, there's a lesson here. I'm not sure what that is. You take it for yourself. I, I, look, the lesson is follow the law. Okay. Don't get yourself into these situations. Um, that's the lesson here. There's probably some other lessons here. I hope you got a, a, a little smile, learned something here from this video. I hope Mr. Schwager uh, does really well again and reforms his life. Thank you for tuning in to Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. I'm here to provide you with legal news and analysis from an attorney. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also consider signing up for my email list where you will get a free PDF on what to do when encountered by the police in a vehicle. All right, everybody. Everybody have a fantastic day.